Every Amazon seller knows the power of reviews, right? Good ones and bad ones. Well, the bad ones can definitely hurt you while the good ones can help you out a lot, right? So in this video, Troy and I are gonna be showing you a ManyChat Messenger Bot template that you can get for free with your Seller.Tools account that is going to help you mitigate negative reviews. It's gonna basically help you prevent getting as many negative reviews as you would normally get. And it's all done with a mini chat messenger bot, which is also a win because you're getting them as a subscriber there, you're engaging them, you're providing a better customer service experience. So let's go ahead and jump with, into it, starting with me introducing you to Troy with Seller Tools. What's up, Troy? Hey, Ian, how you doing? Great to be here. Doing great. So um, Troy, tell us just a quick little blurb. What is Seller Tools? So Seller Tools, it's a suite of optimization tools to help sellers really automate some of the highest activities in their business, as well as some of those cornerstone activities, things like keyword research, uh, keyword tracking, listing optimization. It's really a full suite of tools uh, geared towards advanced strategies. Okay. Cool. And my name, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ian Smith with Evolve Media. We're an Amazon marketing agency, and we help a lot of Amazon sellers with building out messenger bots and running Facebook ads to help them scale their business, rank higher, get more reviews, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in working with us, head over to evolvemedia.agency. All right. So Troy, go ahead and take over. Show us what is so great about this. Um, what, what is it called again? The Make Good Automation, that's the name of this mini chat flow, this template uh, that we give uh, give away for free. This is like an expert, kind of advanced level uh, template uh, that we want to empower our users with. Okay, cool. And so how can they get this? Awesome. Yeah, first things first, where can you find this template when you get access to Seller.Tools? Where you're going to want to head over to is in the navigation, go into the homepage. And then under Seller Tools Exclusives, this is literally something that is exclusive to our users for you to get access to when you start your Seller Tools account. And where you're gonna find it is right here under Make Good Automation. If we click that, it's gonna expand. And as the name implies, as Ian has touched on, this is really where we make good. If we've under-delivered or have uh, kind of created a suboptimal buying experience for that customer, this helps to really make good on that and sort of mirror how Amazon treats their customers where they are quick to, whether it's refunding, uh, whether that's offering them value, the immediacy of support, uh, we kind of mirror how Amazon responds and treats their customers. So this is where you'll find the flow, where you can access it. We're gonna accept this cookies policy. You can preview it here, or go ahead and click save to mini chat, which I'm gonna go ahead and click so we can dive right into it. Pick the appropriate page that you wanna save the flow in, once that's done, it'll then bring you over to the flow itself, which I have pulled up right here. And now we're ready to take a look at it. Now, there are a few different ways that you can utilize this flow. Ian, as we've touched on, one of the more obvious ways is using it for things like inserts, where you could have, uh, let's say, a vanity URL that specifies if a customer's had a bad experience or uh, needs more immediate support, something that needs to be escalated. Um, they could click on that URL and be redirected to this flow through a ref URL. Uh, that's one option, right? And mm -hmm. inserts are great because uh, as opposed to packaging, you could do it on a limited number of units, um, a smaller amount of your inventory, and really be able to test and validate this uh, as a process. But it's very intuitive, right? If you've, if you've had a bad buying experience, the speed with which that brand follows through, um, it really uh, goes to show. And, you know, again, when it comes to reviews and feedback, uh, if we can mitigate any of that adverse uh, feedback, we'd love to do it and do that in an automated fashion. So Definitely. a few other ideas for you to think about is you can have users enter the flow again from an automation rule. You can tag them. Uh, you can have them run through a specific sequence, specific keywords as well, or manually by your CS team. If they, again, provided a customer a ref URL a link or anything like that, can kick off the flow. And then we start from here and let the customer know we're sorry that they're not satisfied with their order and that we can send them a Amazon gift card or a new product of their choice. We're giving them choice. We're empowering the customer to make a decision as to what option is uh, better for them. Pretty pretty cool, right, Ian? We're, we're, we're empowering the customer as part of the resolution. 
Yeah, and giving them the option, I think it's definitely a good call. And then just to, just to touch ba back on how they get into this. So Troy obviously mentioned a lot of different ways. You know, there's the inserts, there's putting it directly on your packaging. Um, and then there's also the route of running Facebook ads to get them into your actual messenger bot. So Troy, go ahead and continue. There's a lot of different ways though to get them into this flow. Absolutely, different ways that you can test and try out. The beauty is again, because it's a free flow, you can, we kind of solve the biggest um, part of the equation and then it allows you to really test and see um, uh, entry points and response and performance. So we let the customer decide, would you rather I send you a new product or Amazon gift card? for the purchase price of your item. Please choose from the options below. Now let's first go through the new product journey. Let's say that the customer comes in and they're interested in getting a new product of ours. We'll take a look and see if we've got saved custom value or custom field from their order, their prior order, let's say. Because what we can do is we can effectively verify that order right here in real time through the Solo Tools API. So we take that custom field, we look, see if we have order status information, add in a slight delay, come in and, and check and see if we can verify that order, whether it's shipped or pending, essentially verifying that order. And this is where the automation gets to be really fun, really elevated, because we'll of course add in our product images here as needed, but you can give your customer the option. Let's say you have um, 10 different products in your product line and you want your customer to have really the, the choice of the litter, what product would be uh, of interest to them to make them happy to elevate that experience. You simply add in these product images, letting the customer then select the appropriate product that they are interested in. Now, again, we reinforce here, you can use a clean product detail page to allow your customers to preview the product if they wanna take a little bit deeper dive and deeper look before they select. Can easily do that using Jenny, our URL generator, but use you know, any option there as you would like, but then the customer will select a product. And again, we have, make sure you take a look at some of the notes if you need any clarification here, because we're using a MCF order, a multi-channel fulfillment order to uh, fulfill these products. We are really using SKUs. Again, the flow is built to where you almost don't need to really worry about it. These are just reminders uh, in this process so that you are aware. So we let the customer choose the products. We'll give them as many options as is applicable for our product line or how many uh, different products we'd like our customer to be able to choose from. We'll come in here. We'll confirm and let them know, great choice. Just to confirm, you would like to receive the product that they've chosen, which is the ST Make Good Automation product name. We'll have them clarify and confirm. If they click yes. We will then look back where we previously verified their order. We'll look at the order information. This is where automation again comes into play, where we can pre-populate the address information from the order that they've already placed with us. This is really slick because then again, we just show them, okay, great. We wanna send this free product right here, right where you're already located. Presumably, uh, we're pretty safe with assuming that that's gonna be the same place that they're gonna wanna have this product sent. We'll display all that information so they can click correct. Great. If so, we'll send your new product. If not, we'll ask the needed information. Now, as you may have noticed, this is kind of the customer supporting themselves. This is, again, where automation limits your bandwidth requirements, your team's bandwidth requirements. And it actually is a cool experience for the customer. That's the most ironic thing is a customer's supporting themselves and it's reducing your resources uh, needed. But there's also the immediacy. As soon as they plug in what information is needed, they've got a free product on their way, right? So they plug in that information. We'll take that, we'll then set that order ID, and this is where the automation does some additional heavy lifting. We'll create, um, increase the uh, ST order ID generator unique to MCF orders. We'll then set a unique value for that, and then we'll uh, plug in a date and time stamp to where then we will create an MCF order based on the product that they've chosen, the selection and options that we've presented to them. Great, for your reference, your order ID is here as this custom field, and then they can click through and check their order status. Very cool, uh, very cool yeah. to be able to do this because you'll notice how much involvement you and your team have had. Absolutely none. 
and your customer is supported, they're most likely happy. They've gone through this journey to be able to effectively support themselves. You've built your list, you've built your goodwill, you've prevented negative reviews, and this is a free template. That's what's really cool about this as well. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. And that, that is on the side of the MCF order where a customer can pick a product that you uh, of that catalog that you present them, uh, can pick any option that they'd like. Yeah, no, really cool template. Definitely should help you with turning that potential negative review into a positive review. Um, and so, so tell us a little bit about, so is this just, they can go through this once per order? Like if they ordered once off Amazon, they can potentially go through this or like, how do we prevent against being abused with this type of flow? Yep, absolutely. So you can utilize this same order ID to make sure that they can't come back through or reuse a order ID. We of course have our other abuse prevention steps. We have our blacklist, all of that good stuff to limit any other bad actors. But by tagging, segmenting, and using those abuse pre prevention controls, that customer can't come back through and take advantage of, of this offer again. Awesome. And so, yeah. so yeah, again, like Troy was saying, this is a completely free mini chat messenger bot template. You can get it by going to the seller tools backend dashboard. Troy, can you show them just in the backend dashboard where they can grab? Yeah, this? absolutely. And there's a few others, of course, here as well. But the make good automation is uh, the one that we've reviewed where you can find it here on the homepage yeah, under the home SD page. exclusives. And they'll continue to yeah. be more value, more free resources, uh, even training materials that we have for our users to make sure that they've got they've got that edge um, with a lot of the things that we do, notably again with ManyChat. Um, we just yeah. know this is an area where sellers, this leg up, like I said, gives you room to start testing, implementing, um, getting in there and start utilizing a little, little bit more advanced uh, advanced strategies. And just Definitely, real quick, yeah. Ian, let's highlight, um, I'd like to just share the Amazon uh, gift card journey. I'm going to zoom out just a okay. touch because, of course, we've gone over the MCF order. And that's, again, I think that's such a polished and exceptional experience for the customer. But let's say in the init initial parts of this journey, they pick the Amazon gift card route again because we give them the choice, powering the customer in the flow. I'm going to zoom out just a touch, scroll down. <laughs> that's down pretty far here. down there. Mm-hmm. And same thing, we'll look and see uh, prior order. Can we get the uh, get and verify that order information? Come through, we'll tag them. We'll then come in here, verifying that order. I'm just gonna zoom over here. And then awesome, let's get that gift card for you. We'll send you an Amazon gift card for the uh, purchase amount, the amount of your previous purchase, sound good? Now what this clarifies is that we actually uh, give them uh, through the stored value, let's say they purchased uh, their initial product for $20, we will give them a $20 Amazon gift card. It'll be exact, the equivalent amount um, for that make good. And the uh, the API and the configuration of the flow does this all automatically. You don't have to go in. There's no manual pieces. There's no uh, inaccuracy. It's truly a, okay, you purchased this product. We're going to give you that value and an equivalent amount in the form of an, uh, an sure. Amazon what gift card. One question for you. So with that, and we've kind of seen a little bit of challenges and just so that they know, does that um, gift card include the cost of tax or is it just the cost of the product? And if it doesn't include tax, is there any way to include tax with your gift card amount? You can, you can add, con you can create conditions you would like if you want to negate, let's say, let's say taxes. Um, you can, because right now the way that it's configured is it's the full purchase amount. Um, which when you're doing a make good, uh, what I would encourage sellers to think about is if somebody's had a bad experience and you're nitpicking over, you know, dollar, two dollars in shipping or taxes. I mean, depending on, uh, of course, your scenario, your your uh, product uh, price um, that may vary. But on uh, generally, I would say don't don't get bogged down in that. Be willing to truly make good on that experience because you want to value the customer and some of the other, you know, uh, Value valuable pieces as part of this as well is is really kind of avoiding that negative feedback that shows up those negative reviews um, that are are valuable to us as as sellers as well. Definitely. Yep. So then we'll send them that gift card, or excuse me, we'll queue it up by confirming that that they will receive that gift card of the equivalent amount. One last thing, we will get their email address to send the gift card to list building here again, where it's really powerful to be able to re-engage this customer. Um, if this is an organic buying experience, it's really powerful for uh, custom audiences, lookalike audiences, as the customer again is supporting uh, themselves. So we'll send it to their email, confirm that it's correct. 
Once they click yes, we will check our seller tools wallet balance. This is where we, again, automatically send the gift card by making sure that we have ample funds in our balance. Come in, check that balance, issue the gift card on the fly, add in a slight delay, again, tagging them that they have received. And then, okay, we've emailed your gift card to the email they've provided. If you haven't received in a few minutes, feel free to reach out to our customer service team by clicking below. They can always reach out to support. So this is that journey where, again, a customer is is seeing, oh man, Amazon gift card, great. I, I didn't have a great experience. This was suboptimal. We didn't deliver as a brand. Um, they are really just a few clicks away uh, from, from getting that um, directly to their email, an open ready email, valuable email for us for list building, for engaging. Maybe we follow up again with them for, with a survey. Uh, maybe we ask for uh, more insights, but we own more of the conversation. We're not having a bad experience, direct to Amazon, negative review. And then we have to constantly look at that, that on our listing day in and day out. Yeah. Um, we've automated that prevention. Yeah. And so the sellers, I mean, you're definitely getting a lot of value from this. You're getting the customer's email address. You're getting them as a messenger bot subscriber. You're getting a happy customer. You're turning a potential you know, unhappy customer into a happy customer, which that happy customer may tell the friend or two, uh, and they may also come back and buy again from you. So definitely a lot of value that you're getting from this 100% free mini chat template from Seller Tools. Troy, thank you so much for, for going through this and really explaining in depth um, what this mini chat template covers. Um, any last things that you wanna cover before we wrap it up? No, I think this is really great to, to hand off uh, to you to be able to utilize it. It's fully customizable. Again, as you see your response for your customer, your product, um, really identifying the journey. But because it's automated, because this is free, like I said, just getting started um, really empowers you to take full advantage. And again, we know ranking and reviews. You guys have probably heard me champion that all day long. And this is where if you can automate the, the, the adverse side of reviews um, and really prevent any of that activity um, that really levels up um, and helps safeguard your business and future customers and you know all that good stuff. So yeah, really excited about getting this out there and getting this in everybody's hands. Awesome, yeah, me too. I think this looks like a really powerful flow and definitely every Amazon seller I feel like should at least have this set up because it is free. Um, but anyway, um, thanks so much for watching this video guys and we'll see you in the next one.